write each expression as a binomial power. In part A, write the expression shown as a binomial power. We can condense this expanded binomial to the binomial power x plus y raised to the power of n by identifying the x, y, and n values. In step 1, the n value is 1 less than the number of terms. There are 5 terms, so n equals 4. In step 2, the nth root of the first and last terms will be the x and y values. The fourth root of x to the power of 4 is x, and the fourth root of y to the power of 4 is y. In step 3, determine the operation and write the binomial power. All of the terms are being added, so the operation is addition. The binomial power is x plus y raised to the power of 4. In part b, write the expression shown as a binomial power. We can condense this expanded binomial to the binomial power x plus y raised to the power of n by identifying the x, y, and n values. In step 1, the n value is 1 less than the number of terms. There are 6 terms, so n equals 5. In step 2, the nth root of the first and last terms will be the x and y values. The fifth root of 32 times a to the power of 5 is 2a, and the fifth root of negative 243 times b to the power of 5 is negative 3b. In step 3, determine the operation and write the binomial power. The terms alternate signs, so the operation is subtraction. The binomial power is 2a minus 3b raised to the power of 5. In part c, write the expression shown as a binomial power. We can condense this expanded binomial to the binomial power x plus y raised to the power of n by identifying the x, y, and n values. In step 1, the n value is 1 less than the number of terms. There are 4 terms, so n equals 3. In step 2, the nth root of the first and last terms will be the x and y values. The cube root of 27 times a cubed is 3a, and the cube root of negative 1 over 64 is negative 1 over 4. In step 3, determine the operation and write the binomial power. The terms alternate signs, so the operation is subtraction. The binomial power is 3a minus 1 over 4 raised to the power of 3.